Morning, mate. No, you're ready. I'm not ready for this. Not ready. She wasn't ready. In the mind of a coach, Luke, what do you do to prep for a class? It's normally the day before, to be honest. I'll go through, make sure I know exactly what the workout is. That is always a good first start. And then we figure out what the intended stimulus is. I write down my coaching points. So things to look out for, for our members. Um, and then I set my alarm and I make sure I get an early night. So I'm up early. <laughs> Drink my coffee in the morning. Obviously, that's, that's, that's not coffee. This is this is Talisman's coffee at the moment, actually. That's believe it. No, this is a, um, a lemon and honey tea because I've hit my coffee quota for the day already. So and it's only quarter past nine. What class are you taking today? So I do all the morning classes on a Friday, and I have done for a year. Taz came in this morning and went, are you doing Fridays now then? I was like, yeah, I've been doing them for the last year. <laughs> and he's like, oh, fucking hell. <laughs> it's like, Taz, you've been in every one of my classes for the last like seven months. It's the only reason why I come on a Friday. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's the, the only reason why most people train on a Friday. See, now that's some bullshit. Coffee done, time to greet the members. Time to greet our wonderful members. We'll go straight to Will. I like to, I like to greet him first, just because you never know what kind of mood he's going to be in. He looks like a psychopath. Will, hello mate. Hello mate. You okay? Good to see you. Good to see you too. How are you doing? Well. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. 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 Just no, hanging not, on in there. Just hanging on. Just yeah, hold yeah, on, yeah, mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. About. Will's just become a new dad. He's in the trenches with a newborn baby at the moment. I'm just pleased to see him here, to be honest. Because my ass is lit from <laughs> pistol squad. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it was definitely the pistols, guys. <laughs> just to reiterate, it was the pistols. Good morning. Alright, I tell you, come around the board, please. Spoke up. How is everyone? Good. Yeah, great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great. Yeah. great. Thank you. Welcome to Friday's workout. <laughs> We've got a chipper today of a descending ladder, two movements, box jump overs, and handstand push ups. So the workout is going to be for time, we've got a 10 minute time cap to hit 40 box jump overs, 20 handstand push ups, 30 box jump overs, 15 handstand push ups, 20 box jump overs, 10 handstand push ups, 10 box jump overs, 5 handstand push ups. The intention of this workout is to try and keep moving consistently. By the time you hit the 3 minute mark, we want to have done these two movements. Obviously your biggest sets are at the start, so the fatigue is going to set in quite quickly. We are going to give you a couple of options for your scaling today. They are going to be pike push-ups from a box, pike push-ups from your feet, or dumbbell push press. So plenty of options. Has anyone got any injuries at all that we don't know about? Any hip injuries, any shoulder injuries? Really? No one. Dodgy back, you know. It's good. Right, wicked. Okay, guys, we are going to start with a three minute warm up on the Erks. The warm up, you know, it's no. <laughs> so, first of all, we're going through a general warm up just to get the blood moving, to get the heart rating, and just to get everyone's kind of mind in the right frame. Then, we're going to go through more of a specific warm up where we're going to make sure that people are moving well so that I can see people's form and correct technique so that when we go into the workout, they're doing the right movement for them so they're still able to hit or still able to get the intended stimulus. Is that a new merch yet? Yeah. yeah, fresh to me. <gasps> Max is my second coach today, aren't you Max? Yeah. So that's Max, he is our intern. He's here every Friday, it's my second pair of eyes. So anything that I don't see with our members, he'll come and let me know if someone's not moving well. It's good to have here, so we can just see if people are cheating or not. Max, this way you can Switch legs and really sink your hips down so you should feel that stretching and opening up your hips. We're just going to do 10 le leg swings on both sides. Grab your box, we are going to go into 20 box step ups, alternating legs. Once you've done 20 of those, we're going to go into 10 incline push ups on that box. So this is more of a general warm up really, but the movements are quite specific to what we're doing in the session. We're just make it, making sure that people's legs, hips, glutes, hamstrings are firing to prepare them for the box jump overs. Do you prefer coaching morning classes or evening? I only coach the morning classes, so I prefer the mornings, yeah. Turning at the top, stepping down. 10 of those, and then 20 high plank shoulder taps. 
So maintaining that hollow position, touching your opposite shoulders. Let's go. What do you do to people that don't listen? Send them to Max, he deals with them. How do you enjoy the morning class? It's good. I'm blowing already from the warm up. <laughs> I haven't trained in ages, so it's fun to move. Sometimes you feel like you've done a workout just in the warm up, but it gets you into what's coming. If you don't get your heart rate up nicely, you'll just suffer. Which is pretty much CrossFit anyway, but suffer less. <laughs> when you're jumping at the top of the box, try and start to change your angle as you jump up. So that when we come to step off, your foot's almost on the side and you can just step down rather than jumping up, having to turn around and step down that way. Pike shoulder taps on the box. And we'll go for 10 and 10. Let's walk those hands in as close as you can. You're never going to press, even with a barbell, you wouldn't press from either side of you, you would press it from in front. So it's no different when we're doing a handstand push up. If you struggle, it is quite difficult. There's not that much difference between a pike handstand push up on a box versus one against the wall in terms of how difficult it feels. Just let me know, I can come and help spot you. Now press. Go again. How's that, Cassie? Lovely. <laughs> Horrible. <laughs> My eyes are watering. <laughs> Is it, do you find it better when they come and help? Yeah, and, and definitely when they spot you. You can feel that motion then, but still need to work on it. <laughs> <laughs> but it's definitely better to do that as opposed to just not doing it. Yeah, of course. Yeah, definitely. Work you're towards gonna, it. You're going to do handstand push-ups. I, like, ha I like handstands. That's, yeah. where, that's my, my favourite bit, yeah. <laughs> Max, how do you punish people when Luke sends them to you? We're just going to practice two sets of a three to five second negative on the way down from your handstand push up. So what we're going to do at the top of that rep, three to five seconds on the way down. If you've got the strength, you could just push yourself back up. <laughs> You're going to be stronger in that negative part of the movement than you will be in the concentric. So if you're going into this feeling a little bit nervous, like, oh, I'm definitely not going to be able to do that, you might surprise yourself by just lowering yourself. Your hands are in line with your head. Oh, I need to try yeah. That's it, nice, good. So lower yourself. Lower yourself. Yeah, good, bring yourself down. See, I didn't need to do that. You just had to get the confidence. Three, four, Quiet, good. So those handstand work workshops, Jesse. Paying off. So, touch the gym, so we want that part of the head to touch. Way down, lower yourself, lower yourself. There, good. <laughs> good. Yeah, good. Yeah, that's the so that's what it needs to be, you're just doing eccentric. So in the workout today, I want you to try a body weight quite push up. So just bring your feet in off the bed. And if they're still really difficult, you just do push press. At the moment, I'm just looking to make sure that everyone is choosing a movement that is going to work for them during the workout and allow them to hit the required stimulus. So for some people, it's good for them to practice their handstand push-ups, but I'm not going to let them do that in the workout because it will just stop them in their tracks. Miniature round, a little tiny miniature round of 10 box jump overs and eight either handstand push-ups, bike push-ups. That's not small, is it? compared to what you're about to do. <laughs> yeah. She's got like harder strength wise yeah. than there, but yeah. I can actually do it with So get both your feet together, walk your body in, and then let's go for Nice. Okay, cool, so that, that'll do. That's what we're doing today's workout. If you find, if you find that they just go, Abby, if you find they just disappear mid-workout and you're not yeah, able to yeah. get them back, then we'll drop to dumbbell push press, but I'd like to start. Like that. You're good on the wall. Yeah, because they're harder. Yeah, they are. Yeah. You so I'll always look for the easy way out. Yeah. And that is it. Yeah, nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you're supposed to say no. Always. <laughs> <laughs> how did how did the pipe push ups on the box feel? 
a bit hard. Can I see a couple yeah. of reps? Nice, cool. So same as Abby, start with those, okay. but have a pair of dumbbells on standby. Okay. So if they just disappear and you can no longer do them in good form, you can just drop and switch to dumbbells. Okay. Yeah. What are you doing, mate? Pass the push-ups. Yeah, time cap. Yeah. Is it strict? Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah always. Yeah. And then when they drop, just don't film them. Just. <laughs> if you do, let me know. I'll, I'll, I'll make sure I do the strict yeah, yeah. ones first. <laughs> what are we going for today, Will? Uh, trying to just not fall off the box again. So, yeah, that's the main goal. So there's a 10-minute time cap. We need to try and hit the first two movements in the first three minutes and that's going to put them on pretty good track to get the workout done within the time cap. But it is quite short, so they will need to work pretty hard, but they know that, you know? And if they don't, it's their workout. It's not mine. I can only control so much. So you've done, so so far you've warmed them up and prepped all the movements, gave yeah. them scaling. Yeah. So you've prepped them all for this last bit. Yeah. yeah. I haven't prepped them up there though. I think that's what needs to happen now. Mm -hmm. How are you going to do that? Don't know yet. <laughs> <laughs> okay, team, are we good to go? Yeah. The intention here is to try and keep moving over these boxes. So don't spend too much time standing there looking at it. Breathe. I adjust to my boxes and then I look around and the camera's going in it. Ah! Yeah, that's it. Cool. And the zoom in as well. Yeah, it's just like... <laughs> those good trousers. <laughs> my calves. <laughs> my little guy. Tiny, tiny little calves. How do you make sure everyone has a good workout? How do I make sure everyone has a good workout? Mm. Mate, don't put this in. <laughs> don't. <laughs> this is your job. <laughs> I know, I, I, only one day a week though. So I try and make sure that everyone has a good workout by making sure that they're nice and warm going into it, that they're clear on what they need to be doing. For them, the movements are not too hard or too easy. So we want to find that little Goldilocks sweet spot of just right, where they're being pushed. It's not too far outside their ability. Then I just make sure I play some tunes. Do you know what I mean? Everyone knows about my tunes in this gym. <laughs> Absolute vibes, mate. Reaching behind, pulling that elbow down, run your hand down your back. Uh, yes. What was your best takeaway from today? My best takeaway? Yeah. I had to pick one takeaway. The best one went. Jalos was good in Hartford. That went. That has to be an Indian. I love an Indian. Ruby. <laughs> you should do good. So much more time for like extracurricular activities as well. So for you, you be practicing everything. <laughs> An, e an emob of every movement. Yeah, just at every movement. Get Three times that. round. Yeah. You do it that. Get your, get your times on the sweaty middle low room. Oh, oh. <laughs> that is grim, bro. I'm you standing up. I thought you were going to be standing over there doing handstand push-ups. Fade the booby. Little man's got moustache. He's grown up. Hello. He's got rough bag. <laughs> is there anything now, once session's done, do you reflect on it? Anything you need to improve? Let me have a think first. Because I know what I actually do versus what we should do. <laughs> uh, no, I just chat to Ty. Normally, I just go over and just chat to my mates. <laughs> Joke. Obviously, don't put that in. What's happening? What do you do after the session? Do you reflect on anything? And I'm like, what I do do is just yeah, go and just, just chat to Ty for half hour and then 
Oh, t 20 minutes of mobility, 600 grams of strawberries, a protein shake, and um, bullshit. <laughs> 100% what should happen every time. Um, yeah, mobility. But yeah. Yeah. Most people do, to be fair. They're very well behaved. They do quite a bit. They stay and they look after their bodies because that's what we tell them to do, but sometimes we don't do that. What do you do as a coach? As a coach, as a coach. <coughs> as a coach, I'll just tidy up the gym quickly, make sure that everything's been put away, ready for the next class to come in. See if anyone wants a coffee, I'll go up, <laughs> smell it, be like, this is shit, I can't charge you for this. <laughs> 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 Those beans are still not the one. They're still pouring out really quick, so maybe they won't spell. I think it's the machine. Yeah. Boyce's beans is about to arrive, so we're, you know. Bring on If anyone wants to buy a broken coffee machine, let us know. New merch is good, isn't it? Look. <laughs> it's about four years old, this jumper. <laughs> the new merch is great. We've got a uh, website, talismanapparel.com. It's all on there. Bye, Sam. See you later, Sam. Bye, Max. Uh, yeah, then we're going to be bringing out the autumn winter 23 jumpers, hats, socks, some Sh more tees. Shoes? Some more tees. No, not shoes. Vests. Vests? Yeah. Really? Yeah. What, for Australia? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Luke. It was really well today, mate. Thank you. can see how hard you tried. We have a, a free week trial, so you get to join us for seven days without paying a single penny. And then, if you like it, we also offer 30% off for your first month. So if you want to do that, head over to talismangym.com and both of those buttons that you can click are very big and they're on the homepage, ready for you to join. That's about it, really. How long am I going to stand here for? Is that it?